So we're joined now by Deborah Anamon and Manfred Bordemann. So thank you so much for joining us today. It's been a heck of a conference thus far, Deborah. Thank you so much for setting everything up. <laughs> thank really you. Really been great. Thank you. We're really indebted to EMC for what they've done. Oh, stop it. Well, we look forward to the beginning of a fabulous relationship for sure. <laughs> so you've accumulated people from across the globe here at this conference. Tell us a little bit about where you're from and kind of what your role is over in Austria. Well, I come from Austria and uh, my role is a consultant. I try to bridge university and education. And I'm proud to be part of the Innovation Network to meet these people and to interact, to learn, and to get inspired. Yeah. How has it been going thus far? Off without a hitch? Or I know there's a lot of logistics associated with something like this. Well, this wasn't the first, actually. The first was actually commissioned by the United Nations in 2006 in Muscat, Oman. And the Innovation Network um, has grown to be 200 people in 70 countries. And we have many countries from the Middle East and all over the world, obviously, who are experts in innovation strategy and the knowledge economy. And Manfred is one, he's very humble, but he also did the German translations of my books. And he also, for the European Union, is one of the worldwide experts on measuring intellectual capital and intangible variables. And for the European Union, built the frame and has been just asked to upgrade it. So I'm, I'm thrilled he's here. Yeah, yeah. So tell us a little about intellectual capital. And has he met Mary yet, too, from last night, the new member of the E100? Yeah. She was talking about intangible capital as well. She's she connected. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're working together sometimes. Uh, what? Uh, what is intellectual capital? Well, it's the intangible part. You, know, you have human capital, you have structural capital, you have relations like we're developing right now. And uh, if, you're, if you have the chance to uh, develop that on a global scale, I think it really scales up. Having the relation just into your own company is not enough, I think. And we have to leverage that intellectual capital. And uh, I think we build back on basis, a basis of trust and basis of collaboration. And on the long term, I think this is going to be a huge, huge impact. Really it's worth it's worth to get a little bit of the context. Twenty five years ago, when I was working for Digital Equipment Corporation, with Joel Schwartz, by the way, um, we developed the, the concept of intellectual capital and premiered it worldwide. Twenty five years ago, now there are degree programs and doctoral theses and multiple books and now frames that are being tested all over the world. They've done they're they're being done for companies. Um, and multiple companies that gives a national strategy for intellectual capital. Um, and you'll meet several of the other people here who have done some of those intellectual capital reports for a nation.